Let's go. Johnny? Good. That's all. John, I'm sorry they sent you to such a hellhole. I've seen worse. Yeah, you have, haven't you? John, I told you that I'd help you when I could. You interested? You can't possibly want to stay here for another five years. I know where I stand. Yeah, just hear me out first. The covert operations being geared up in the Far East. Your name was dug out by the computer as one of three most able to complete the mission. Mission? Recon for POWs in NAM. Why now? Why me? Prison camp you escaped from at 71 is a target area. Nobody knows that terrain better than you do. The risk factor is very high. You'd be temporarily reinstated in the forces, and if the mission's successful, there may be a presidential pardon. You interested? Yeah. Good. Good. I'll get the necessary clearance. The next time we meet, it'll be in Thailand with the special ops designate who haunts the operation. Yes, sir. All clear? Yes. John, I want you to know that I did what I could to keep you out of here. I know. Yeah. Sir, do we get the win this time? This time it's up to you. Nice 
not be heaven, but at least you're out of the joint. He's here. Good morning, John. Sir. This is Marshal Murdoch. He's in charge of special operations from Washington. Thank you, Colonel. Rambo, been looking forward to meeting you. How was your trip? No problems? No. Not except for the damn heat, right? Never felt anything like it. Come on in. Let's get down to business. I was uh, glancing over your files. Makes for some pretty interesting reading. Rambo John J. Born 7647, Bowie, Arizona, of Indian German descent. It's a hell of a combination. Joined the Army 8664, accepted Special Forces specialization, light weapons, cross trained as medic, helicopter and language qualified, 59 confirmed kills, two silver stars, four bronze, four purple hearts, distinguished service cross, and the Medal of Honor. You got around, didn't you? It's incredible. Rambo, you're probably aware that there's almost 2,500 Americans still missing in action in Southeast Asia. Now, most of these boys are presumed killed, but to the League of Families, Congress, and lots of Americans, it's still a very emotional issue. Give me something cold, please. Rambo, you certainly don't know as much about me as I do you. But I hunched with the 2nd Battalion, 3rd Marines, and Contum in 66. I lost a lot of good men. So I know what you and every vet feels. Now, maybe the government didn't care. Maybe certain segments of the population didn't care. My committee cares. So what his committee needs is conclusive proof that Americans are being held. And once done, rest assured, we'll get our men back. Now, if there's any of our men at this POW target camp, you're to confirm their presence by taking photographs. Photographs? Just photographs. Under no circumstances are you to engage the enemy. I'm supposed to leave them there? I repeat, do not engage the enemy. The Phase Two Delta Force assault team led by Colonel Troutman will handle the extraction. Okay. Anyway, I'd just like to say that I feel with your participation, this mission has a better than average chance to succeed where others will fail. I'll meet you both in the operations center in one hour. Thailand across Laos into the mountains of Vietnam in the drop zone. You'll be flying a ceiling of 250 feet when you bail out. Think you can handle it? Try. Since you're going in solo, you'll have to rely on more equipment than you've ever used before. And use it. And what I'm saying is don't try the blood and guts routine. Let technology do most of the work. And John, I want you to try to forget the war. Remember the mission. The old Vietnam's dead. Sir. I'm alive, it's still alive, isn't it? 